Hey everybody, it's Exonerated here on the Spinal Craft multiplayer server. Just got in today after a long weekend of work and ooh, goodies. So I'm going to go check real quick. It seems that uh, somebody decided to leave a present. And I've already done some looking around. I don't have any redstone to worry about. Just a sign, somebody paying me homage, I guess, and a happy fish. That's really the only thing I want. The heck with the chest. I just want the happy fish. I got two. This makes number three. Bounce on the Nova. Mr. Happy Fish. I don't know who wastes their levels naming a puffer fish happy fish, but they need bonus levels. And we go back, and we go back, and I believe this is from Gold Dragon 747. See, there he is at the top with 118 deaths. He dies a lot, and lots and lots of gifts. Uh, I don't know what I did, and I took a look at this before I hit record, but I wanted to thank him personally on the video for everything because that's amazing. I'm just going to box myself in. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. Uh, but it's going to get put to good use. So I'll be back uh, in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. I um, want to thank you all for watching again. I, yeah, I've been busy, but I've made some, ish, well, I've made some mistakes. Um, the mistakes I have made have revolved around um, when to and when not to record, etc., uh, but regardless, I decided that I'm going to show you uh, what I've been up to um, rather than actually show you the footage. Some of the editing uh, that I did really messed up. Uh, tried to blur some things out. Um, yeah, didn't work. So uh, I've been busy doing some other things here. Um, had We ran into an issue uh, on the server where we were inviting a lot of folks whitelisting quite a bit and nobody was able to partake in the dragon fight because uh, the dragon had long since been killed in a group event so what we did was we would reset the end and the end reset every day when the server did and uh, that way anyone who hadn't been involved with the dragon could actually kill it and get an egg and etc we did that for a little while so enderpearls became completely unable to obtain uh, unless you wanted to go in during the day you couldn't make a true ender ender uh, we've gone through and changed the server so that well the, the admins have gone through and changed the server now so that the end no longer resets so we're able to make an ender ender and that's that's what I did yesterday for a little while um, and again I had some issues with the footage but it's a simple ender ender. Um, there's two layers here, and they just drop down. I did not use this as an XP farm. I don't need it as an XP farm. I have a, a skeleton farm that does a really good job, and it's where I do all of my gear enchanting and repairs. So this is just really up here for ender pearls and only ender pearls, and I get pretty good rates. And yeah, so. Um, some folks may want to see it. Uh, what I did, the first thing I did was go up 45 levels. Uh, Endermen have uh, 40 heart or 40 health, which is the equivalent of 20 hearts. So they have to fall at least 44 blocks to die. So I went 45, just for the heck of it. And did I give myself another block? I did not. Can I take this? Yes, I can. Can I take that? Yes, I can. All right. So, um, basically, they are just uh, pressure plates that go into repeaters, and the repeater goes into a sticky piston, and the sticky piston has a block on it. just pushes the uh, Enderman off straight down. I put half slabs on top to keep Enderman from spawning on top, and there are some half slabs on this side to kind of keep them from falling out this way a little bit. Um, 
if I were going to make this into a proper ender ender uh, that I want to use for XP, it would go up many more levels than this. But again, I, I really don't need it for that. I have a great XP farm at, at the house. So, and here we go. So the, the only thing it does is collect, like I said, collect ender pearls. Um, I did path the, the islands back that way. I did ride a water stream down, um, build a path all the way down to it, and then build a half slab path out. So there's nowhere here that Endermen can spawn except on these pads. And they're going to fall straight to their death when they do. I don't know if they can spawn on, on chest and or... Uh, well, I know they can't... I don't know if they can spawn on chests, rather, but I know for a fact they can spawn on crafting tables. So I just slabbed all three just in case. And I did not slab these. But now I have. Um, might as well fill up my stack under pearls while I'm here. So that's, that's pretty much this here. Um, let's see. Back at the base, um, I just went through and also did some work on a smelting room. Uh, this smelting room, if you'll remember, was laid out but wasn't properly finalized. And this is what I've done. Uh, went through and re removed all the cobble stairs. Um, getting a little frame lag, sorry about that. And, um, well, we redid re re the floor, took the furnaces out of the floor. Also, the only automatic smelting furnaces are the ones on this side here. Everything else is a manual uh, furnace. There's no cart pickup. There's no item d drop off. Uh, you just put it in and cook. This whole side right here is fed with items from this chest, which I can put more cobble into. And the lava for that is from right here. Uh, the intent is to go through and finish off this room and uh, so that I have a place to, to dump the lava buckets into as a storage place. And then down here I've added a door so that I can access the innards whenever I need to. The automatic smelting is going into this uh, chest, so I need to be able to have a place to, you know, for all of that to go to. In fact, what I really need to do is add another chest because this chest I don't think is going to be able to keep up. So let me do that while I'm thinking about it. That's what I want to do. Get some crazy frame lag. Um, okay. Got to turn on my chat because it's not going to let me do anything without my chat on. That was part of the reason that I couldn't do anything earlier. We had some less than child friendly chat going on and so I wanted to make sure it stayed child the video stayed child friendly so I tried to blur it out and and yep yeah, I'm not quite that adept yet at my video editing program it would seem so alright so there we go we've got another chest now for backup storage um, I'm going to come back here at some point and polish off the back end of the room I've got some stuff I gotta pick up from these two chests where I was using them before uh, it won't serve any other purpose than be a back room, but I really dislike having places that are unfinished. Um, I want to be able to walk into everything and have it look camera ready almost would be the word. So uh, that's that's what I've done here. Um, pretty comfortable with it. Not sure about the trap doors yet, but we'll see. Uh, we went through. I don't. Uh, I've added some doors in now to, as protection. That right there is the kill chamber for my cow and pig farm. And then we had the other door over there for the. Uh, yeah, those. Uh, what are they? They're cactus. They're cactus. They're sharp. They're prickly. They're cactus. Uh, what else did I do here? Let's go to the other side. We went, um, Tyron has been working on ways to decorate the building for the uh, wheat farm here. Um, you might be able to see he's got these kind of star shapes 
outlined out in stone brick. He's using them as an example of what he wants to put on the exterior. He's going to have a multiple layered star on both sides. I think it's going to look really good. I can't wait to see what he does with it. Uh, we bulk out both sides a little bit in order to provide him room to add dimension to that but still have a grass walkway here so that's what we did here we bulked this out quite a bit as a matter of fact um, it was this was the border and then it was here <laughs> all the way until it got around to the trees so we just wanted to add some depth keep it kind of random but still be able to have room to walk past this once he finishes designing that and then on this side we lowered the beacon into the ground uh, same reason here give him the same space on this side that we did on that side so he could bulk it out. The last of the gravel is gone and we've gone through and placed grass over all of this. Uh, we took down the, the other little hill that was here. Um, it was right here as a matter of fact. And just grassed everything over. Uh, I have a couple of other buildings that I want to go out of here. Uh, we have another wart farm. Uh, we need one for pumpkins. So that's going to go out here. And it's going to be um, a longer building. It's going to need to, the design I have uh, in mind, it's going to need to be a much longer building. So, killing creepers on camera. That's how you get the ratings, kids. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, this is kind of laid out for that, to be able to add other buildings. And then I still have to work on an exterior for this nether wart building, which is doing pretty good. Um, I don't have to farm it too often right now. We're not really deep in uh, into the potions. I, I keep, you know, a few on hand, and I'm still working on my design for my uh, potion uh, lab. But in the interim, when I remember to, I come by and harvest them, and it does pretty good. I have no complaints. Uh, we built up this wall over here, this retaining wall for the dam. Um, the next addition for this is going to be to add a gate here of sorts, like a like a drainage gate, so that the the overflow, quote unquote, of the lake here can spill down into this river, and it can continue on into this more natural environment, less polished, more natural environment. And then we've got some more stuff over here to do for the horses trying to think. I know there was something else I wanted to show you. Sugar cane. I wanted to talk about sugar cane. So the initial design for the building concept, uh, rather, for the sugar cane building was to have it go as tall as the sheep farm. And that's not going to happen. Uh, I certainly have the materials to do it. Uh, materials are, are never something I, I truly run out of like that. The problem is going to be storage. Uh, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you include that top chest, we've got eleven double chests on either side, just to collect sugar cane. One, two, three, four, five. Number six out of eleven is full. Seven is half full. On both sides. Well, no, seven's full on that side and eight is half full. I've got six, seven and a half chests, roughly, of storage space left in this sugarcane farm before it's full. It has not been running that long, <laughs> so I'm apprehensive about putting more layers on it because even I don't need that much paper. I mean, I do. Oh, that's very sneaky. Check him out. He looks like one of those bushes. Very sneaky guy there. Here we go. Take your hiding spot away. Uh, toying with the idea of doubling the storage over, which I could certainly do and make it just a little bit wider, but at the same end, if this 22 chest of sugarcane is filled up this fast, Adding more layers is just going to exacerbate storage issues. So what's going to more than likely happen is there's another one creeping around the corner there. Is that why they call them creepers? Because they're sneaky? Whoops, I walked off the edge there. No, you don't. No, you don't. 
There we go. Um, it's just going to exacerbate storage issues. I don't really have that much need, even with all the trading I've been doing recently with villagers for that much paper. So, this is as tall as it's going. Uh, I think I'm at eight levels. Get up here and check real quick. I think I'm at eight levels. If that's the case, that's where we're staying. Regardless, that's where we're staying. I'm not putting any extra levels on this. So I'll start working out the details. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight it is. So what you'll find is that uh, the majority of the sugar cane is not going to have a place to go after the hoppers fill up. It's just going to burn up in the lava, which is kind of nice. It, I didn't really think about that aspect of this when I designed this. So the fact that I have the mob killing system in there that can double to burn off excess is kind of nice. Um, so at any rate, like I was saying, I'm going to build a, an exterior to this building as well, and I'm going to work out kind of the details of that, and we'll do that at a later time. Let's see here. I've already shown you my mess up with the tape with the wool farm. And there was something else I wanted to show you. Oh, these the mushroom farms. I've been having some issues with my mushroom farms. It's a design I've used in the past, and I'm not quite sure if they've gone through and changed the way that mushrooms spread, um, at least when it comes to being able to farm them. I wonder, is this off? This is off. One space. Oh my goodness, that's going to bother me. I'm going to have to do something about that. So, what I'm looking at here is the center of the mine lines up with the center of the, the claw. But this walkway is one block off. Yeah, I can't fix it. It's too much. So anyway, um, basically, on these farms, I've got mushrooms along the side. And what you could do in the past is you could go through and put... <clears throat> You could go through and put a block up like this, and with no light, mushrooms would spawn up here, and they would spawn up here. And it was great because you could set up like a little water trap like I did, and press the button, and then the water would sweep them all down into the hoppers, and Bob's your uncle. And so I, I built the design based around that. Not happening though. They are not growing. Um... The only thing I can think of to swap this out might be to switch some of these to half slabs or maybe fence. Let's try that. Let's try that while I'm thinking about it, as a matter of fact. Let's see, do I have any slabs on me? No. I, I say slabs because we want a block that's going to be... Um, transparent, which, you know, is stairs, slabs, uh, glass, that sort of thing. So let's, oh wait, I have slabs on me. Let's try it with some half slabs and see if maybe, because the half slabs will block the water, but they'll also, maybe they'll allow the, the farm to spread. Oops, not that one. And if this ends up working, then we've got our fix. And uh, I'll just have to correct the other side of this farm. Plus, I'll have to correct the brown mushroom farm. So we'll give that some time, come back to it later time and check it out. Wow, I can't believe I didn't realize this was uneven. That is disappointing. That is very disappointing. I thought I had lined that up. This would be the middle. I could redo the whole walkway, or I could just double the walkway and make it five wide. That would be a little cheaty. Plus, it would cut into this mushroom farm. I'm just going to have to leave it. So, oh well. Not a whole. You know what? I should try the brown mushroom side. No, no. 
wait, no, wait. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the brown mushroom with a different block and see if if it spreads that way too. Do I have any glass up here? I do not. I'm going to grab some glass from down under. Better yet, if I can get some glass panes, rather. That would be even better. I know I have some of the gray. Yep. All right. We'll go up here and change the brown mushroom out real quick while we're thinking about it. All right. We're going to do the same sort of scenario. We'll switch out this left side. Whoops. Put that there. Okay. And we're just going to put these glass panes over it and water still works water still works okay so we're going to put those glass panes over it and then that way we don't have to worry about uh, the water getting the mushrooms but we'll try it with the glass panes on this one and we'll try it with the half slabs on that one hopefully we'll get some mushroom spread and last resort I do have mycelium and we might have to go that route. The other thing I might have to look at is some spacing above these mushrooms. Um, although, no, this is too high. Okay, so there, there's spacing there. I was worried that there wasn't enough space for the mushrooms to grow because it was only one high. I think the majority of this is one high. And if I have to change that, raise this up, so be it, I will. So we'll do that. I'll put it back. So, All right, well, that is uh, the end of today's episode. It's a little short, um, but I uh, wanted to show you some of the things I had done that I had meant to put out. Uh, but like I said, I've had some video editing issues. And I uh, want to thank you all for watching again. Give me a like, share, subscribe. Uh, every little bit helps. I certainly do appreciate it. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.